Hello, it's Ron Clymer again from Orlando, Florida at Clymer School of Real Estate. You know, on the Florida real estate test, they got questions that have been on the exam for years, and I call them brain teasers. They're questions that anybody could probably do if they didn't have their brain warped by spending 60 hours in a real estate class. For instance, there's a question that says, Susie bought a house 21 years ago with a $30,000 mortgage at 8%. Payments are two twenty two twenty two dollars per month. Today, that mortgage is half paid off. How much interest has Susie paid? Well, here's the answer. Susie's paid $222.22 a month, and she's paid that 12 times a year for 21 years. So let's see how much, in, how much money has left Susie's pocket and gone into the mortgage company. $222.22 times 12 times 21, my calculator says $55,999.44 has gone out of Susie's pocket and into the mortgage company's pocket. Now, it tells us in the question today her mortgage is half paid off. Well, she started out owing 30000 Half of that, she owes fifteen, or she has paid 15000 in principal reduction. So if we subtract the principal reduction from the mortgage, from the money that she's paid, she has paid $40,999.44. In interest. This has been the principal and $40,999.44 is the interest that Susie's paid. Nothing you learned in real estate school teach you how to do that. Now, there's another problem on the state exam that's a similar problem. You don't really need to go to real estate school to learn how to do it. But imagine, if you will, Imagine, if you will, you just bought a four-story building. You just bought a four-story building, and the building is 100 feet by 100 feet. Now, it's your intention to subdivide this building into storage bins. Now, the bins are 10 feet by 20 feet. So you're going to turn this into storage bins that are 10 feet by 20 feet. Now, you're going to lose 20% of the floor space is going to be wasted on walkways and common areas. So 20% of your floor space is wasted on common areas. So the question is, how many bins can you get? All right, you got 100 by 100, or each floor is, let's use the calculator, 100 by 100 is 10,000 square feet. So each floor is 10,000 square feet. Now, 20% we're not going to be able to use, or 2,000 square feet. So we've got 10,000 per floor, 2,000 we can't use, or 8,000 square feet that we can use. Times, it's a four-story building, so 8,000 square feet times four floors, we've got 32,000 square feet. Now the bins are 10 feet by 20 feet, or 200 square feet per bin. 10 times 20 is 200. 32,000 divided by the 200 square feet of each bin. Let me use the calculator for this. 32,000 divided by 200 square feet, we can get 160 bins. Get 160 bins. 
Now, there may be a question, part of that question might say if we rented those bins for some amount of money, how much would the money be? And, but as far as I know, that's as far as that problem goes. That problem's been on the test for 20 years. Been there as long as I can remember. Now, the next thing that I'd like to do is Let's do a similar problem to this. What if Mr. Developer went out, Mr. Developer bought 16 acres of land. He bought 16 acres of land. He's going to turn that land into 30 lots. He's going to turn that land into 30 lots. Now, 10% of the land is going to be wasted on parks and common areas. 10% of the land that he can't use, he's going to waste it on parks and commons areas. Now the streets, the streets are 21 feet by 600 yards. And the question is, how big is each lot? How big is each lot? All right. First thing, you got to have this number memorized. 43,560 square feet in an acre. If you don't have that memorized, you're in a heap of trouble. 43,560 square feet in an acre. Now, we've got 16 acres. All right. Let me use a calculator. 43,560 times 16 acres. So we have bought 696,960 square feet. Now, 10% of it is going to be wasted. Let me use the calculator. Times 0.10. So that's 69,000. 696 that we can't use. All right? Let's subtract that number. Let's subtract that number. 696960 minus 69696 equals 627,000. 264 square feet that we still have available. Now we got to subtract out the streets. The streets are 21 feet by 600 yards. That's 1,800 feet. There's three feet in a yard. So we got 1,800 times 21. So we've got 37,800 square feet that we're going to turn into streets. So if we take our 627, 264, subtract our 37,800, that leaves us with 589,464 square feet that we're going to turn into lots. Now we're going to get 30 lots, so let's divide that by 30. Let's divide that by 30, and we see that each lot is 19,648 square feet. Now, if we wanted to turn that into acres, how would we do that? We would take the number of square feet and divide it by 43,560, and we would see that we had about 0.45 of an acre. That's the famous half acre lot you've heard so much about. This is Ron Clymer. I hope this has been a help. If I can be any further help, I've got my entire weekend review class on audio tape. Call me at 407-822-3926 or check us out on the web, School. Dot com.
quiet desperation as I wander through the world.